Uh, hi there, my name is uh, George Washiri. I'm the CEO of Optiven Group and uh, Optiven we specialize on settling Kenyans. We have been in business for the last uh, 23 years ensuring that uh, our Kenyan people are getting affordable homes and uh, we are currently in uh, 15 counties and uh, Kisi is uh, on the, our Randa. We wanted to invest in Kisi to be our 16th uh, county and Optiven is not only uh, properties, Optiven is about uh, uh, supporting communities. When I came this morning in this county of Nyamira, uh, Nyamira and, and, uh, and uh, we were able to visit uh, different churches, we were able to visit the schools and we were able to pick uh, uh, two very vulnerable uh, students that we gave a full scholarship and I'm happy that uh, in the county of Nyamira is on our randa. You know, we are targeting Nyamira County as part of our 16th county. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, we, have a, we have a lot of customers in this county, especially those customers that are in diaspora. Uh, last week I was in Delaware. I went to uh, Boston, I went to Maryland, I was in Baltimore. I, I went to Minnesota, I went to Arlington, and I saw a lot of community from Wusi community. And I say that, uh, wait a minute, uh, these people are uh, uh, domiciled in the in the Nyamira County and Kisi County and I said I'm going to start with the Nyamira County to ensure that uh, we are able to bring back the message home that Optiven is selling properties uh, in the diaspora people belonging to this particular county and uh, today we said we are coming here because the relatives are here in anticipation to expand the Optiven uh, vision of being the champions of social economic transformation and today's meeting was basically the ice breaking and uh, we are saying that uh, the people who are living here in Nyamira Nyamira now is constrained there is no land in Nyamira Ladia is complete and uh, Optiven we have got big properties in Nairobi, we have properties in Vipingo, properties in Nanyuki, we have properties in Nyeri, and we are telling the people of this county of Nyamira, you can be able to think outside the box, you can be able to break the barriers and go out there in Nairobi, go out there in Machakos, go out there in Nyeri, go out there in, 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 in Kirifi, and you can be able to invest. And today we had many business people who have committed to put their investment in one of our projects in, uh, in Kirifi called Ocean View Ridge. Others want to invest in Nanyuki. Nanyuki is one of the fastest growing uh, counties. Why? Kenya is now one country. And I'm happy that uh, Optiven, very soon, within a couple of weeks, we are opening our office here in uh, Nyamira County. And I'm so happy that uh, the people have been very receptive, not because of um, anything else. They know the vision, the purpose of Optiven. And Optiven means optimizing ventures. Optiven is about uh, changing communities socially. Because 5% of the money we generate the entire five percent go to Optiven Foundation, and that's why we put a lot of uh, charity work. And I'm happy to say that uh, last year alone we did over 1,000 good shares. This year we are supporting about 600 orphans across 47 counties. And now, since now we are here, the, the, the people of Nyamira are going to benefit more, especially in the scholarships. And we're also saying that uh, we are advocating the SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, and we are saying that uh, we are encouraging our people to plant trees, we are encouraging our people to decarbonize the planet, and this goose for is going to come here. And I, I was happy to see the officials of the Shapers of Commerce, because the next trip uh, to Nyamira, we are going to speak to all the members of Shapers of Commerce and help them on how to develop their organizations. Remember, uh, uh, George Washington, who is the CEO for Optiven, I also do mentorship. I'm also an author. I've authored three books. And one of the books is basically for mentorship, how to start small and build an empire. And we want to speak to these business people of Nyamira. We tell them, Nyamira now is a village. You are now village champions. You can be able to venture in other counties. You can come to, uh, to Nairobi, you can come to Nyeri, you can go to other countries like Rwanda, you can go to DR Congo, and maybe we shall come and discuss with the Chambers of Commerce on how to empower our people. Because personally, I love business people. Personally, I love mentorship. I run a mentorship called the George Washington School Mentorship and you are mentoring business people. You know why? The future of Kenya. The future of Kenya is with the businesses. Business people provide jobs. Government has no job to provide. And that's why it's important that uh, the, the entrepreneurs need to be nurtured. And for example, Optiven, we have a, a, a staff complement of 500 employees and we are targeting 30,000 employees. So my word is to all the business community in Yamira, let's keep going. No giving up. We have a beautiful country. I happen to travel in a few countries. But Kenya is beautiful. I have seen foreigners dying to come to invest in Kenya. Let us build this nation. And the members of the public, please don't destroy Kenyan properties. Tafadhali, don't destroy properties because we have no other country to go 
The only country we have is Kenya. Let's build this nation. Wherever you are hearing me from, Marian Skiza, Italifa, Tujenge, Nchi Yetu, Hatuna, Nchi Igine Akwenda. The only country we have is Kenya. May God bless Kenya even as we move on. That's called Optivate, meaning optimizing ventures. There are some reasons why customers uh, trust Optivate. One of them is that uh, we have been in business for 23 years. In those 23 years, we have no issue of uh, swindling uh, customers. And when we make mistakes, those mistakes, those errors, don't go to the customer. We absorb the losses. It was only last year during COVID. We paid a lot of money back to the customer for a joint venture that we did that went off. We did a joint venture. It did not go well. And the, the money was paid to the partner. And Optiven paid money that never came to Optiven. And that's why our brand went up. Number two is that uh, we offer properties on installments. We know that uh, many people may not afford cash purchases. We are able to give our customers any property, whether the property in uh, the Great Oasis in, uh, in Nanyuki, whether it is Shidi Gardens in Akuru, whether it's Ocean View Ridge in Vipingo, whether it is uh, uh, Achievers Paradise in Gong, we are able to give our customers Maripo, ya Pole Pole, and uh, people love it. And then number, number four, why Optivate? is we don't sell bare plots. Our properties are value added. We have five levels of properties. There is gold level or five star. We have four star, we have three star, two star, and one star. One star, they are very cheap, below 200,000. Five star is a bit expensive, but this five star, we do cab rollers, we do club houses, we do swimming pool, we do stored perimeter wall, we do solar seat lighting, we plant trees, we pipe the water on every property. And then depending on what you want, you can be able to select from our website, www.optiven. .ke, you can select any property. All our places are available online. Whether you're in diaspora, whether you're in Kenya, our places are available online. www.optiven.co.ke And then finally, why Optiven? Optiven is different from any other real estate. You know why? 5% of our money we give back to the community. We have children we support. We have schools we supply sanitary paths. We have old people. Next week, we are launching a house in uh, one of the projects called Garden of Joy in Machakos, whereby we did a house for a lady who, has, who, who was cancerous, called Lady Leshao. And uh, other than 5%, I'm an author. All the money from my books, I've that uh, three books, all the money from my books, George Washuri does not eat a, eat a coin. The entire money goes to the foundation. You know, this is 1,000, this is 1,500. Pesa yote in Naenda Kwa Foundation. You know why? I am a product of a community. I was educated by old women. I was educated by Harambees. I am a, from a single mother. You know, I know what poverty tastes. You know, this is a man who slept without food for five days. This is a man who tried 15 businesses that collapsed. You try this one, it collapses. You try this one, you are auctioned. Optiven is the 16th one. So we are a living testimony that persistence, commitment, networks, hard work, pays. And that's an encouragement to people who are listening to us. Don't give up. If George Washiori did not give up after failing 15 times, please do not give up. Keep going.